violated and devastated. A Valley couple says they don't even know where to begin after their home of 30 years has been targeted and broken into nearly a dozen times in just the past month. Well, how is that even possible? 13 investigative reporter Joe Bartel shows you no matter what they do, these crooks seem to keep coming back. Let's take you inside the noose's home here. They say that there's literally not a, a piece of this home that hasn't been touched or affected by this uh, break-ins here. And they say this is a lifetime worth of memories and things that they just simply can't get back. Like he has countless times over the past 30 years, Ingmar News opens the door to his home, but what's inside is hardly recognizable. It's just totally devastating, uh, you know, the things we've been through, and not once, not twice. Ingmar says crooks have broken in 11 times, the thieves taking advantage when Ingmar and his wife traveled to California around Halloween. They returned home to a mess, so much so they were forced to live with their daughter, Kathy. It's been our home for 30 years, and to have it come in and just destroy it, as my mom said to me the other day, she goes, they have destroyed my home. With the home absolutely unlivable, crooks keep coming back apparently. Windows have been broken, the front door kicked in, the back door busted. They've targeted things, they know, you know what they left behind and I think you know, they said, okay, we can come back later and get that. Priceless items like his World War II medals have been stolen and the news say they are hopeful but doubtful they will get all of their stuff back. We have no idea at this point what's missing other than we know all of Kathy's jewelry and her charm bracelet and things like that. Uh, my wife's, all of her jewelry is gone, uh, an expensive diamond or diamond emerald ring and uh, all of her nice jewelry, necklaces and things. Police were able to lift fingerprints and DNA from the home. The news say they've given police some leads too, including some parole and probation paperwork that includes a name and date of birth they found in a suspicious car parked in their driveway. I think it's just, it's that feeling of being violated that st there's no regard for the fact that this is somebody's home and their possessions and a lifetime of memories and possessions are just tossed, walked on, destroyed. Um, and it's heartbreaking. Once they get everything sorted out, their goal ultimately is to sell this home and the lifetime of memories they have here. Joe Bartels, 13 Action News.